animals can be big, but some, some are so very, very big. They could go toe to toe with Godzilla in an epic battle for the ages. You may need plastic surgery to make your eyes bigger in order to fully see some of the beasties we're about to show you. These are the largest creatures ever discovered on Earth. Number 15 Argentinosaurus is this the largest dinosaur ever discovered? The Argentinosaurus, say that three times fast, is a sauropod dinosaur that existed in the Cretaceous period. It lived in the area we now know as Argentina and was probably the largest land animal to ever walk the planet. Like other sauropod dinosaurs, it had a long neck and long tail. It was the king of all sauropods. The Argentinosaurus is thought to have stood at 65 feet tall, up to 130 feet long, and weigh up to 110 tons. Imagine trying to coexist with them today in our crowded, built-up cities. We'd forever be rebuilding houses. A farmer discovered the first remains near the city of Plaza Huincol in 1987. In 1989, an excavation of the farmland took place, and paleontologists found back vertebrae and a complete thigh bone or femur. Given the vertebrae positioning, scientists believe the dinosaur would have been able to travel at speeds of up to 5 miles per hour while moving the fore and hind limbs on the same side of its body simultaneously. Talk about terrifying! Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. The Belgian blue cow is one heck of an animal, a real literally beefy boy. The Belgian blue is a breed of beef cattle from, you guessed it, Belgium. They're not just big, but also muscular. They have a natural mutation in the myostatin gene. Myostatin is a protein that inhibits the development of muscle, which explains the size of these things. They look like their milk would taste like a protein shake. Comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Megalodon when people see pictures or video footage of a great white shark, many get scared. It would be even scarier to see them in person. After all, we feature on their menu, and they're not exactly the friendliest sharks in the ocean. But do you know what was scarier and even larger than our great white friend? The Megalodon. And boy, we're so glad this giant creature went extinct millions of years ago. They were the largest fish on record and had huge teeth around three times larger than the Great White. Scientists believe they were the most powerful predators to have ever lived and could grow up to 52 feet long. Their massive jaws could also produce a bite force of up to 41,000 pound force. Their thick teeth allowed them to snatch prey and break bones with minimal effort. If you're imagining a megalodon to look like a Great White, then you would be all that wrong. Scientists think they could either look like a stockier great white, or even a more massive sand tiger shark, whale shark, or basking shark. Number 13. Titanoboa Suppose you have ophidiophobia, a fear of snakes. In that case, any snake of any size is probably going to be pretty terrifying. Unfortunately for you, one of the most massive creatures ever discovered on Earth was a snake, known as the Titanoboa. Titanoboa means titanic boa, so you don't have to be a genius to work out how large it was. But you can breathe a sigh of relief, as the Titanoboa is now extinct. This large snake existed in northeastern Colombia and could grow up to 42 feet long. It wasn't exactly as light as a feather either, weighing as much as 2,500 pounds. It was first recorded in South America's tropical rainforests and shared its environment with large 
turtles and crocodilians. Given how large it was, you'd probably think the Titanoboa was an apex predator. Fortunately, even if it existed today, we'd be relatively safe. Scientists established that because it had high palatal and marginal tooth position counts, it was mainly piscivorous. This meant that it mostly only ate fish. Many people were able to see a full-scale model of this snake in the Grand Central Terminal in New York after it was put on display as a promotion for a TV show on the Smithsonian Channel called Titanoboa Monster Snake. Number 12. Spinosaurus the Spinosaurus was the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered. Even comparing it to other dinosaurs like the T-Rex and Gigantosaurus, it was nearly as large or even larger. Given that it was a carnivore, this could have been bad news for us if it still lived today. But it doesn't, so you can stop cowering behind the sofa now. The Spinosaurus could grow up to around 59 feet long and weigh as much as 23 tons. It had a long, narrow skull, three-fingered hands, and enlarged claws. Its legs, though, were short compared to its body, and it had a long, thin tail with paddle-like structures on it. The Spinosaurus lived in what we now know as North Africa during the late Cretaceous period. It died out about 99 million years ago. The first remains of it were discovered in 1912, but were then destroyed during World War II. Fortunately, more remains were found during the 21st century so that we could learn more about this creature. What we've been able to work out is that they ate a lot of fish, but also hunted on land. This leans towards it being a semi-aquatic animal living on land and in the water. So if it still existed today, there would be almost no escaping it. Number 11, the Devil Frog. The devil frog, which is called the Beelzebufo Mpinga, please don't make me repeat that, is thought to be the largest frog to have ever lived. They were around the size of a beach ball, or 16 inches, and could weigh up to 10 pounds. That's huge for a frog. While they are now extinct, we've learned a lot about them. They lived during the late Cretaceous period in Madagascar around 65 or 70 million years ago. For some reason, they were incredibly grumpy. Just think of your grandpa after he hasn't had a nap. They would sit and wait for something to eat, then snap at anything that passed by. They would snatch lizards, vertebrates, and even baby dinosaurs. That's how large these frogs were. To be honest though, we've got a frog that exists today that nearly rivals it. The Goliath Frog. This frog grows up to 13 inches in length from its snout to its vent, and it can weigh around 7 pounds. Fortunately, this frog tends to be a little less grumpy than its extinct friend. Number 10. Asian Straight Tusked Elephant the Asian straight-tusked elephant, also known as the Paleoloxodon nematicus, was a prehistoric elephant that lived in India, Japan, Sri Lanka, and throughout Pleistocene Asia. They had a far different skull structure from our modern-day elephants, but there's definitely no denying that it was an elephant. After all, just look at it. It was huge. The elephant died out around 24,000 years ago at the end of the Pleistocene. Research carried out in 2015 on its leg bone showed that it may have been one of the largest land mammals ever. A partial skeleton of one was found in 1905 in India, which included thigh bones up to 5.41 feet long. With this information, scientists were able to determine that its total shoulder height, at least for this elephant, would have been close to 15 feet. In the 19th century, two thigh bones were also found that were 5.2 feet long. Another fragment, when measured, was around a quarter longer. That meant that some of these elephants might have been as tall as 17.1 feet at the shoulder and weighing around 21.5 tons. Number 9. Geclopterus renania. Arachnophobes, you might want to look away. This animal is bound to give you nightmares. Let's just see if we can pronounce it first, though. The Geclopterus renania is essentially a giant sea scorpion. It measures in at around 8.2 feet long and claims the title of being the largest arthropod to have ever lived. 
It's important to note, though, that even though we call it a sea scorpion, it really isn't much like one at all. These freshwater critters probably spend more time hanging out in rivers and lakes eating fish than doing any other scorpion-like tasks or spending time in salty oceans. They lived around 390 million years ago and had massive claws on them. So if you happen to come across one, you would definitely end up in a lot of pain. That is, if their enormous size didn't send you into a state of shock first. They looked reasonably similar to smaller scorpions with a large hind segment, enlarged pincers, and massive forelimbs. Given how active and powerful it was, it was also considered to be an apex predator during the early Devonian Year America. Number 8. Bull-Size Rodent Raise your hand if you've ever launched yourself onto a piece of furniture, like the sofa or table, when you see a rat or mouse in your house. They might be small, but for some reason, these rodents send shivers up your spine and make the burliest men scream. So imagine how terrified you would be if a rat that entered your home was the size of a bull. You'd be burning your house down. Like capybaras, it seems that Joseph Artigasia was at least somewhat aquatic. In 2008, scientists discovered the largest recorded rodent in history, known as the Mega Rodent for obvious reasons. It was found in South America and lived in lowland rainforests up to 4 million years ago. Because of its well-preserved skull, they were able to determine its approximate size. Drumroll, please. The Mega Rodent weighed up to 2,200 pounds, and its skull was 21 inches long. The newfound species was discovered on Uruguay's southern coast on a cliff face. It was twice as heavy as any other known rodent and measured around 10 feet from nose to tail. Okay, we take it back. The rats and mice we have today aren't so bad after all. Number 7. The Largest Kangaroo Kangaroos aren't exactly small, but would you call us liars if we told you that there used to be kangaroos in Australia that were three times larger than those you see today? This year, kangaroo remains were found on a site in northern Queensland that definitely didn't look like those of a kangaroo you see today. Fight in the area, such a large animal. This roo was around 8.2 feet tall, 604 pounds, and about 40,000 years old. That means that, at one stage, it had once roamed the land with humans. Skippy, is that you? If you're wondering whether we caused their extinction because we're good at that, then you'll be pleased to know that we most likely didn't. Sure, we probably played a part with overhunting, but scientists think that climate and environmental change were the most likely culprits. Paleontologist Scott Hocknell from the Queensland Museum said no evidence of humans was found at the scene of the fossils, which means there's no firm evidence to suggest it was our fault. He says that loss of water flow, intensified drying, vegetation change, and increased burning were likely to blame. Rest in peace, Rue. Number 6. The Largest Penguin when we picture penguins, we think of cute, cuddly little fluffy birds that waddle around the ice. Happy feet pretty much sums it up. But as it turns out, that is not the case at all. A new penguin discovery tells us that some penguins used to be absolutely massive and were probably quite scary if we were to see them today. <laughs> A penguin's 37 million year old fossils were discovered in Antarctica. They measured 6 feet 8 inches from the tip of the toes to the beak and they would have dwarfed most humans. Among the bones was the longest ever recorded fused ankle foot bone along with the penguin's wing bone. For obvious reasons, the penguin was called the Colossus Penguin and they believe it would have weighed around 250 pounds. Considering the largest penguin we have today, the Emperor Penguin, only weighs up to 100 pounds and stands at 4 feet tall, it's easy to see they were huge. The larger the penguin, the longer they can hold their breath. So scientists think that this penguin could have spent up to 40 minutes at a time under the water when looking for food. Number 5. The Biggest Bear 
If you come face to face with any bear, you're probably gonna be pretty scared. They are quite large. Even if they don't want to hurt you, they could do damage if they wanted to. You might fear the bears we've got today, but just be thankful that the prehistoric South American giant short-faced bear doesn't exist today. It towers over our modern-day bears. The remains of what we believe to be the largest known bear to have ever existed were unearthed at a hospital construction site in La Plata City, Argentina. They lived around 2 million to 500,000 years ago and are closely related to the spectacled bear today. Scientists used the bear's leg bone measurements to work out its approximate body mass and height. The results were surprising. They would have weighed up to around 3,855 pounds and stood at 11 feet tall. Therefore, they were probably the largest and most powerful carnivores of their time. To put it into perspective a little more, the most massive bear on record in modern times was a polar bear from the 19th century that was shot in Alaska and weighed 2,200 pounds. Number 4. Andrew Sarkis Call your buddy Andrew. We've got a great story about him. One of the largest creatures ever discovered on Earth was the Andrew Sarkis. This extinct mammal lived in Inner Mongolia, China during the middle of the Eocene Epoch. Scientists believe it was the largest terrestrial mammalian carnivore, just by measuring the length of its skull, which was around three feet long. It also had three incisors, one canine, four premolars, and three molars on each side of its jaw to allow it to eat meat to its heart's content. Recent studies of this absurd creature have shown that it's probably closely related to whales, hippos, and entelodonts, which are extinct pig-like omnivores. They've managed to come up with a lot of theories based on a single skull discovered in Central Asia in 1923 during a group trip. During the spring, museum researchers had arrived at a campsite in Erdin Manha known as the Valley of the Jewels. Here, a paleontologist assistant discovered the skull of a gigantic beast. The specimen then became part of a collection and was given the name Andrew Sarkis Mongoliensis, in honor of Roy Chapman Andrews, the expedition's leader. It measured about 6 feet high at the shoulder and 12 feet long. Number 3. Largest Invertebrate The giant squid is a creature that continues to annoy almost every scientist. Not because it's annoying, really, but because it's just so mysterious. They know it's probably the largest invertebrate on Earth, but that's pretty much the extent of their knowledge. This deep ocean-dwelling creature can weigh up to a ton and has been found measuring around 59 feet in length. There have also been recent estimates of females growing up to about 43 feet and males up to 33 feet. Their mantles are about 6 feet 7 inches long and their body, excluding tentacles, can be around 16 feet. Some people say that they have even found some up to 66 feet, but these have not been verified. As we said, there's just so much much we don't know about the giant squid, except of course that it's, you know, giant. We didn't even get the first images of this invertebrate until 2004, which were taken by a Japanese team. They're found all over the world, but they're quite elusive. That's probably because they live at depths of around 980 feet to 3,280 feet below the ocean's surface. Number 2. The Largest Living Terrestrial Carnivorin the largest living terrestrial carnivorin is the southern elephant seal. It's one of two elephant seal species, but is the largest of both the order Carnivora and the clade Pinnipedia. It even wins the title of being the largest extant marine mammal that isn't a cetacean. You learn something new every day. The southern elephant seal gets its name from its huge size. The adult male seal is twice as heavy as a male walrus and up to seven times heavier than the polar bear and Kodiak bear. If you don't see them first, and they're kind of hard to miss, then you'll at least hear them or smell them. The adult male can produce a massive roar and, for some reason, they smell awful. 
uh, we don't hold that against them because it's probably pretty hard to shower in the Antarctic. If you're gonna spot these carnivorans anywhere, then it's gonna be along the Antarctic coastline where they'll be swimming, relaxing in the sun, or nursing their pups. There are even cruises you can go on to see them in person. Number 1. The World's Largest Land Animal can you guess what the world's largest land animal is? If we still had dinosaurs, it'd be a no-brainer. But today, in our modern world, it is the African elephant. They are larger than Asian elephants and have larger ears than Asian elephants as well. They grow to some huge sizes of about 8.2 feet to 13 feet at the shoulder. They'll also weigh between 5,000 and 14,000 pounds. <laughs> You know what else weighs 14,000 pounds? A helicopter, a school bus, a small jet, and a semi-trailer. Let that sink in for a moment. In the wild, African elephants can also live up to around 70 years, but that's if they're left alone. Poaching poses a massive threat to their numbers. Before Europeans colonized Africa, their numbers sat at around 26 million. By 1970, with their tusks being used for piano keys, combs, and all sorts, there was thought to be only about 1.3 million left. Today, there are only around 400,000 of them left, and they are on the cusp of becoming extinct. They may be large, but they're not invincible. We were quite happy thinking that we were at the top of the food chain and that nothing could take us down. But as it turns out, that's not entirely true. Some of these animals are absolutely massive, and we could never win a fight with them. Which one surprised you the most? Have you heard of any of these animals or seen them in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.